How did you begin this business? I found a cat. One cat leads to another, like potato chips. Then all of a sudden, you have another cat and another cat, and then you find a colony and you learn about colonies, and then you realize if you want to do something, you're going to have to start thinking about resources so you can continue to take the cats that you're finding out on the street. And I just started a nonprofit because it's easier to get people to donate when you're a nonprofit than when you're just a single person trying to help a cat on the street and just start looking for spaces to rent and what could I afford and trying to figure out the, the cost and benefits and ended up with this place. <laughs> Working here and working with Cafe, I've learned that a lot of cats are strays because people have left them or abandoned them. But also, if they are letting the cats out and they don't look like they're being well taken care of, it's okay to take them off the streets and get them into a better home. So that is something that was a wild idea to me because like I don't want to take somebody else's pet. But you know, if they don't have a collar, they're not microchipped, and they look like they're not being fed or taken care of, then um, that's our responsibility to take them and take care of them. The cats on the street are actually the cat that, you know, they're also might put in their home and adopt if it was just seen in a different circumstance. So there's a lot of misconception about the cats that are out there. Most of them are suffering and need help. Like the cat I just picked up that has a broken leg or a broken back, we're not sure. Somebody called for help, so yeah, I went yeah. to get it. I took it directly to the vets and I'm waiting to hear back from them. She's here. She's very sweet, but she uh, she's never been out of the house, whoever left her behind. Um, so. This is all brand new to her. She's never had a, a different experience. So she was just warming up to me at my house and then I take her and I get her spayed and then I put her back in my house and then I scoop her up and I bring her here. Um, she's gonna be a little anxious. Other than the cafe part of it, there's the rescue side of it. So all the cats have to you know, first come from the street and then they need to get vet care and then they need to recover from the vet care and they um, go into foster homes. A stray cat is basically abandoned, lost, homeless, looking for help, very in need of, you know, probably suffering. Statistics show that about 79% of all cats that you find outside are friendly cats. Some may need to remember their manners a little bit, some may need to, a little socializing, but most of the cats you find outside are friendly cats. Only about 20%, 19% are truly, truly feral cats that don't want anything to do with human beings and prefer to live outdoors. I think people have a misconception about what a cat on the street is. We have people coming in all the time that, you know, they want to adopt, they, you know, they get approved to adopt and they take a cat home. And then they say, you know, there's, there's six cats in my back alleyway. What do I do about them? And I'm like, well, you could have taken one in and adopted it. Well, I don't want that cat. And I said, but the cat you adopted came from a backyard. Think about the cats they see on the street, and instead of ignoring them, maybe post and ask for help. I mean, we're all volunteers. None of us get paid for this. We do this because we, because we have a compassion um, to help those that can't help themselves. And if more people would just think about helping one cat, it makes a huge difference. If we can get 500 cats off the street a year, that's 500 that no longer have to worry about being hungry or cold or hit by a car or attacked by a pit bull or shot with a BB gun, um, have a cigarette put, for, you know, cigarette put out on them, have their ears cut off with a pair of scissors. Um, the horror stories we've seen are tremendous and it makes you wonder about people sometimes. So there is a stray population problem in Philadelphia. So part of our work is to try to get them the cats at least spayed or neutered. 
Um, but the problem can s continues because a lot of times uh, folks are not neutering or spaying their pets and then they abandon them and then it causes more of a problem. It's a problem that uh, doesn't seem to have an end. There's unfortunately a lot of ignorance about cats uh, and the general public. So if one cat has six kittens in six months, that mother and those six kittens all getting pregnant or having kittens. So you've got six cats that each have six kittens. So now you've got 36 plus the original six. So now you've got 42 cats and in six months, those 42 are getting pregnant. So each of those 42 cats have six cats. It, it just, it's a, it becomes a pyramid of a problem. Um, there's a report that there's something like 742,000 stray cats in the city of Philadelphia. Um, there's a lot of work now to try to solve that problem, like with what Green Street Rescue does, but it's still not enough. A lot of people who uh, take in a cat don't have the resources to get it fixed. They don't have a car. They don't have a carrier. They don't have the money. They don't know where to go to get it done at a low-cost um, spay-neuter clinic. And it just the problem just builds on itself. We're always looking for volunteers, so if you like cats and you want to get involved, um, we need help with trapping, so if you want to learn some things about that, we can help and connect you to the right people. Um, if you haven't been to the Cat Cafe, it's definitely a fun place to come visit. Uh, you can grab a cup of coffee and just hang out and play with the cats. You don't have to adopt. Um, but yeah, it's a new concept. We're trying to get uh, more people aware of it, and so if you can help spread the word, that would be great. Thank you.